Hello students. In today's video, we are going to study pharmacology of uh, antifungal drug terbinafine. Now, terbinafine belongs to allylamine class of antifungal drugs. It is used orally as well as topically and is primarily used for the treatment of uh, dermatophyte uh, infections, also known as tinea infections of uh, skin, hair and nails. Uh, now, let's first understand uh, mechanism of action of terbinafine. Now, look at this figure. It represents structure of fungal cell membrane. Now, like human cell membrane, fungal cell membrane is also made up of uh, phospholipid bilayers. But a critical, very important component of uh, fungal cell membrane is the presence of ergosterols. So, these are ergosterols. Now, these ergosterols are absent in human cell membrane. Now, fungal cells synthesize this ergosterol from squalene. So, squalene is the precursor of ergosterol. Now, in the fungal cell, enzyme squalene epoxidase converts squalene to squalene epoxide, which is further converted into lanosterol and lanosterol produces ergosterol. Now, this ergosterol is a very important component of fungal cell membrane. Now, terbinafine is a non-competitive inhibitor of the enzyme squalene epoxidase. Now, inhibition of this enzyme by uh, terbinafine uh, causes reduced synthesis of ergosterol. So, decreased synthesis of ergosterol makes the fungal cell membrane leaky. The permeability of the fungal cell increases and it becomes leaky. Now, in addition to this, uh, as squalene is not utilized, this squalene accumulates in the cell and this squalene is toxic. So, accumulation of this toxic squalene in the fungal cell causes death of the fungal cell and uh, this produces fungicidal action. So, this is the mechanism of action of terbinafine. On one hand, it uh, reduces synthesis of uh, ergosterol. Uh, that uh, causes a number of abnormalities that produce a number of uh, abnormalities in the fungal cell membrane. Fungal cell membrane uh, becomes leaky. On the other hand, accumulation of toxic uh, squalene uh, causes fungal cell death. So, this is the mechanism of action of terbinafine. Uh, now, let's study clinical uses of uh, terbinafine. Terbinafine is used to treat fungal superficial dermatophyte infections of skin, hair and nails. Now these are the superficial infections which are produced, which are uh, caused by the fungi known as uh, dermatophyte. Now these infections are also called as the tinea infections. Now topical terbinafine is indicated in the treatment of localized, localized tinea infections namely tinea pedis that is the tinea or dermatophyte infection of foot, also known as athlete foot. Then tinea cruris, that is the uh, dermatophyte infection of groin, also known as joke itch. Then tinea corporis, where, where tinea infection can occur anywhere on the body, like for example, trunk, arms, legs, etc. And uh, this is also known as a ringworm infection. And also in the treatment of pteriasis versicolor. Now, in pteriasis versicolor, a small discolored patches are produced on the skin. Now, this occurs because of the uh, interference of the fungus with the normal skin pigmentation. So, topical terbinafine is used in all these localized superficial infections. Now, if severity of these infections increase and they become widespread, or if they are not treated by the topical antifungal, then oral antifungals are used. Now, oral terbinafine is reserved for the treatment of oncomycosis, that is the tinea infection of nails, tinea capitis, that is the tinea infection of scalp and hair shaft, 
and in all those tinea infections where where tinea infection is not localized but the lesions are widely spread or where the severity is high so um, these are the uh, clinical uses of terbinafen now in oncomycosis terbinafen is the drug of choice and is more effective than oral brisofulvin or oral itraconazole uh, now let's study adverse effects of uh, oral terbinafen now oral terbinafen is well tolerated uh, and uh, but it can cause adverse effects like uh, gastric upset skin rashes taste disturbances then some cases of hepatic dysfunction hematological disorders like anemia and severe cutaneous reactions like systemic lupus erythematosus have also been reported now topical terbinafen can cause erythema that is the redness of the skin itching dryness uh, irritation urticaria and skin rashes now terbinafen is contraindicated in patients with impaired liver function with history of allergic reactions and it is also contraindicated during pregnancy now in addition to this uh, terbinafen also produces a number of drug interactions so this is in brief on pharmacology of terbinafen please note uh, information provided is only for informative academic purpose for use of terbinafen or for the use uh, or for the treatment of fungal infection consult your physician if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video Thanks for watching this video.